most of what you heard were these two circuit bent devices uh, being ring modulated against one another. So here we are, it's the next day. Um, I've got Ben's ring modulator set up here and basically my point was to show that even if you can't solder, you can still hook things up with clip leads to do some of your testing. Um, I also kind of wanted to show off some of these uh, clamps that I've gotten a hold of recently and just show you what they are in case you didn't know. Uh, this is like a third hand you might see at Radio Shack, but I bought this at auction. And, well, it's a little unlike what you might see at Radio Shack, actually. It's got a lot of extra arms with uh, clips to help hold things in place. This guy here, I've uh, just got my other ends hanging over and I was using it to hold my camera, but this is actually a circuit board clamp. So I did a little testing with Ben's uh, ring mod circuit the other day and had some interesting results, not exactly what I was expecting, but I only had it hooked up with clip leads. Um, mostly just to make the point that you can, uh, but I was getting a lot of interference uh, from the fluorescent lights, a lot of buzz and some other stuff. So I'm going to take a quick uh, moment to solder some jacks onto this thing and talk a little bit about Ben's construction. So the way that Ben described this ring mod circuit to me as uh, uh, its build style is dead bug on solder strips. And so if we look here, we can see that each of these uh, uh, numbered bars passes through, or uh, solder lugs passes through the bar, um, and he's got all the different um, Zener diodes and such uh, just soldered correctly where they need to go in the circuit. I think this is an interesting style for, uh, you know, sketching up a circuit or just generating one quickly without the use of a, a printed PCB. Another uh, video to check out um, would be the Perfboard prototyping video uh, from Make Magazine. I enjoyed that one a great deal. It's hosted by Colin Cunningham. Learned a lot in it, but basically he talks about um, designing circuits on a uh, perf board that's got uh, a gridded pattern of uh, solder joints and holes uh, that you can configure any way you like. So, um, anyhow, uh, just these are transformers and these are the inputs that would be the carrier and modulator, I believe. Could be wrong on that one. And then the, uh, the output here uh, is indicated with the uh, striped heat shrink tubing. So um, let's take a quick second to solder this thing up. For anybody who hasn't done it, Ben was even kind enough to uh, tin the ends of the wires coming out uh, for the ins and outs. So if you look, he's got um, the shielding lead wrapped with presumably uh, the negative lead, and that would be positive. So if you're soldering iron, you always want to make sure that the tip is kind of silvery and to get it evenly coated on there, wipe it off on a damp sponge and redo it periodically. Fortunately, my sponge is not really damping. Eh, it seemed to do it. So anyway, if you're Soldering iron end looks crappy. Maybe it's time to get a new one. I don't know if sanding it's ever a good notion. So we're just trying to see how it's feeding right onto the solder lugs there. And we've got a nice, even, silvery uh, area. Basically, the point is to heat the thing that you're trying to tin keep even heat on there and the solder will just flow onto it. You don't want to like paint it back and forth. You want to try to transfer as much heat as you can and that's just by steady even 
application of the iron tip, but don't overheat things, don't linger, because that's when bad stuff starts to happen. So let's uh, let's uh, add this on. I'm going to get some needle nose pliers, bend it on there so I'm not fighting with it. Anything you can do to help yourself out, keeping your work steady helps, but you don't need to. You don't need any fancy equipment to do this stuff. Just got to, you know, you can rig something up. Here's something I was thinking about showing you guys. This is this is yet another soldering stand. Uh, this was uh, designed for my hackerspace. I forget where, I believe. I should credit them. I'll see if I can remember. The tip is the same as this lug. And tip is where the positive signal goes need to look at my hands, not at my phone. This looks terrible, but I'm going to get the, uh, I'm going to get the positive terminal soldered first and then move on. So I was heating both the wire and the lug, both of which were tinned. The solder just flowed all together, making for a nice happy connection. Now we'll clip to that side for a second. Feed the wire, bend her around here. There we go. Nice even heat. Silver joint, except my phone won't focus on it, but trust me when I say it's a good solder joint, and you'll know it when you see it too. So, I'm going to do the uh, rest of these exactly the same way, and we'll come back with another test of this ring modulator circuit, which I think will be more trustworthy than the last using clip leads.